Want to know how to prevent your XP15000 printer from clogging up from ink? Stay tuned to the end. Make sure when you print your transfer sheet, you print on the matted side. Do not print on the shiny side. And before you start using your printer, you want to make sure you run one print head clean. And if you're using the SIS system, you want to make sure that you open your caps. That way it breathe and let the ink flow through your printer. And when you're done printing, you do not have to take your carts out at night. And this is why you have lines in your transfer sheets is because you didn't take the rollers out. You must remove the rollers. The steps are in the DTF ebook. And next, you want to make sure you install an external waste tank for your printer. This is going to replace your maintenance box. That way you don't have to keep changing out your maintenance box. Now, once it's complete, we're going to take it to the powder station. You want to hit it with a little bit of your DTF powder. That way you can go left and right with it to get it all over the ink. You want the powder on every inch of the ink and get you a tray. That way you can reuse your powder. You want to set your heat presser at 395 degrees and you want to bake it for 300 seconds. Don't swing your clamp down fast because it's going to create airflow that pushes it up and then it's going to get stuck to the heat press. You want to flip it to bake the other side and if you see the powder clearing up, then you know the baking process is complete. When you're done, do not cut your XP15000 printer off. It's going to stay on and it's going to be in rest mode and that way your printer is going to run small print head cleans and that's going to prevent your printer from clogging. Make sure you follow me for more free game.